Welcome back. The Greek National Opera Ballet will perform at the Cairo Opera House on the 6th and 7th of June for the first time with the modern dance accompanied by the fusion of Greek classical and folkloric music. And of course, uh, one of the most interesting events, especially for those who are interested in opera. Well, uh, we are joined over the phone by uh, Mr. Uh, Mikali uh, Grunstein, Vice Chairman of the Greek Community. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. So first of all, uh, could you shed the light on uh, this important event taking place for the first time? Uh, let me start by saying that, uh, as you know, uh, uh, the relations and ties between Greece and Egypt are uh, historical, and uh, they are for a very, very long time. Uh, according to that, you know that uh, both civilizations, the Greek civilization and the Egyptian civilization, were uh, the first civilizations in the world. So there was, from the, the, the period before Christ, there was uh, intervention, and of course it was uh, a collaboration between the two civilizations. Uh, till today, uh, there is a very tight uh, and uh, very close uh, uh, training between uh, Greece and Egypt, and I believe that because the relations of both countries now are in the best scenario ever, so this shows is coming to the opera of Cairo uh, in order to show the Greek traditional dancing in a modern way to the Egyptian people and to the Egyptian culture centers. So, could you tell us more about the style of this ballet? It is, you know that uh, Greeks are uh, very well known for their dancing, and uh, there's a tradition of Greek dancing. Uh, this is um, a, a new view of this dancing. It is a modern Greek dancing, uh, that combines uh, traditional Greek music, traditional success stories like Zorba the Greek, uh, but in a modern way of dance. Uh, tell us more about the impression of the performers as well. I mean, um, the idea of coming to Egypt, to performing here, and the preparations uh, that have been undertaken. Uh, as I told you before, uh, for everyone, for every Greek, uh, it's a big dream to come to Egypt, for any Greek, in any uh, field uh, due to the tides and due that there are big communities of Greeks in Egypt or either of Egyptians in Greece. So uh, that means automatically uh, that uh, it's a dream for any performer of, or any uh, real artist to come and perform uh, in Egypt. And uh, this is obvious because uh, it's, it's not the first time uh, that a Greek group or a Greek, uh, Greek artist come to perform in Egypt. Uh, let me uh, remind you that uh, in the early 50s of the last century, uh, the Greek movies where the, the stars were coming here and the shooting was done here in Egypt, in the studios of Egypt. Right. Uh, what about, uh, if you are talking about uh, the current uh, days in general, what kind of challenges uh, that we can say uh, the Greek uh, opera is, uh, is facing in general? I, I believe the challenges are uh, not, not only for, for the Greek opera, but uh, it, it's in general the challenges that the art is facing worldwide. Uh, you, you know, taste is, is, is changing and uh, habits are changing, but I believe that uh, both countries, Greece and Egypt, uh, they always focus on the cultural issue because they are very old civilization and don't forget that Greece and Egypt it, they are the countries that taught to the world what the real meaning of civilization. If we are talking about uh, the soft power, of course, so when it comes to arts, it's completely different. And uh, when we talk about ballet, one of the finest arts, uh, how far can this uh, be um, a source for linking nations together? I mean, coming here and moving around in such an event or in events in general that really uh, brings people together regardless of the culture, regardless of the nationality or even the language. See, I, I, I don't think this is only happening with ballet, but I believe this is happening... In arts together. in general. Sorry? I mean, just as I mentioned, in arts in general. Yes, of course. So, 
let's let's say that dancing is always <coughs> a way of expression. Uh, when we do folkloric dancing in Egypt, there is always a story decided. Only the Greek, also the Greek dancing is the same story. Each dance has a story behind it. The ballet is exactly the same thing, but giving it a little bit of a, a higher touch of art. Hello? Yes? So, talking about, um, of course, uh, we have uh, many things uh, that we can say it might be in common between uh, the uh, Egyptian ballet, the Greek ballet. Do, can we discuss this, especially for those who are not that very much professional, but they are interested to enjoy being part of this event and to, to be one of the audience as well? well. Of course, uh, let me say again that uh, ballet is, 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 is a way of dancing. It is a way of expression. So according to that, is that even in Greece or in Egypt, people, they all like to see ballet because it is a fine art and also it is a way of fine expression. So according to that, this ballet is coming to here or the Egyptian ballet side, that's why easy usually to mix dancers from many countries in the same ballet. It is a matter of expression, it's a matter of art. Well, could you tell us more about um, the, the group who are coming to perform here? How many are they? Uh, tell us more about them. No, unfortunately, I don't have the exact uh, data about the number. But, of course, this is the National Greek Ballet, which means are the best dancers of ballet in, uh, in Greece. And I believe it's in honor for them to perform on the, on the, on the ground of the Cairo Opera. So, do they have a program here while being in Egypt? Uh, yes, of course, they, have, they do have a program. Uh, they will do a lot of visits. Uh, they will go to archaeological sites. Uh, it, 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 it's an introduction. Egypt, which is a destination that anyone is dreaming to, to visit someday. Yes, I mean, are they going to move around Egypt? Are they going to have uh, any uh, trips or a schedule outside Cairo, for example? No, I believe performance will be only in Cairo. Right. But uh, I, I believe that they're going to visit a few other areas, but performance will be on the opera house. So... Could you tell us about the, the story or um, the, the, the main theme or idea of this performance? Of the main theme, you know, I told you, is, is Greek dancing. But Greek dancing <coughs> on, on a new method or, or on, on a fine art method. You know that Greece is, is very famous for their dancing. And what the most known of all these dancers is what we all know as Zorba the Greek. Right. Uh, Mr. Mikali uh, Grinstein, uh, Vice Chairman of the Greek Community, thank you very much for joining us. On moving on to a quick break, then we'll be back.